Hello, this video explains how to navigate around SharePad. SharePad has a split screen format. On the left hand side you display the list of instruments you're interested in and on the right hand side you display information specific to the currently selected instrument. On a tablet in portrait mode or you've just got a very narrow browser window the split screen format will be rearranged such that the list view goes at the top and the green view goes underneath. You can scroll through the list on the left and the information on the right will automatically change. To do that on a keyboard simply press the spacebar. On a tablet two navigational arrow buttons will appear down in the bottom right hand corner. Going back to the left hand side you can display a wide range of lists of instruments or you can display a portfolio or you can apply a filter to the current list using this button here. You'll notice that the buttons on the main menu and the sub menus are colour coded to match the side of the screen that they apply to. Now you can make either side of the screen full screen using the three navigational buttons at the top of SharePad. Clicking on the left hand button will make the list view full screen. Clicking on the right hand button will make the right hand view full screen and the middle button takes you back to split screen mode. Even in full screen mode you can tab through the list of instruments with ease. You can change the list you want to look at using the buttons on the main toolbar here or you can search for an instrument using the search button. Alternatively if you have a keyboard you can simply start typing the name or code of the instrument you're interested in. On the right hand side there's a wide range of views you can look at for each instrument. By default the chart view is displayed or you can choose financials and on the financials tab there are a number of sub views such as the dashboard, company information, financial statements, ratios uh, and broker forecasts and consensus. You've also got news and director and major shareholder information. You can see that in many of these views on the right hand side there's more information than you can display in split screen mode and this is easily solved by going to full screen mode.